We're here at Offshore Europe. I'm speaking to David Lamont, who's from Chief Executive of ProServe. David, uh, thank you very much for spending time with us Pleasure today. To um, obviously, we're here at Offshore Europe, and a big feature of this week is how the, the industry goes ahead in the future, and uh, basically companies working together. I know that's something you feel very strongly about, that the industry needs to do a, a bit more of uh, collaboration in the future. Yes, I, I feel very strongly, because I, we, I think we've seen um, in the past uh, great result from collaboration and I think we're seeing now the, the, the start of the efforts that have been made on collaboration in the industry today. There's a, and we're seeing a number of companies that are, that are pushing very hard in this direction and already the results are tremendous. We're seeing the cost pace come down in the industry. There's just a heck of a lot more work to be done I and mean, we can't take our foot off now um, when there's, the upside is so significant for the North Sea in particular where we have decades of production left. If we act and, and, and collaborate in the way and, and design and, and develop technology in the way that we can and we've shown in the past we can. Why do you think there's been a reluctance perhaps in the past for companies to work together given that they're all driving towards the same end and, and getting as much barrels of oil and gas out of the North Sea as possible? Well you know we live in a free market and, and, uh, and competition comes in various guises and uh, I think with a high oil price there was less of a, of a, of a need to, to be as keen as possible. Um, and I think that's led to, in some cases, practices that, that shouldn't have, have, have emerged becoming normal. So I think, as, as I said earlier, I think just as, uh, as we all sort of start to get a bit fat and complacent with middle age, but then potentially that, that's, that's what caused some issue in the North Sea. But the low oil price for me is great. It's come at a time where we still can recover and recover strongly. It's meaning that we as an industry and we ProServe as a company need to become lean and, and, uh, and ready to, to address all the challenges that the industry is facing at that moment. It's, it's, it's great, it's a challenge and, and I think the industry is more than up to, to handling it. Do you think there's a realisation in the wider industry now that, that this has to be the way ahead going forward? Yes, not just a realisation, it's moved past thankfully the point of talk. I think we're seeing leading companies like Enquest, uh, new entries like Mole coming into the industry with, with a, not just a, a, a stated desire to, to co uh, collaborate and to engage and, do, and with all the nice buzzwords that are around the place, but they are actively doing it and uh, they're engaging companies like ProServe both um, in, in terms of engagement, in, in looking at, at how we can best solve the issues and the challenges and the opportunities, but also in engaging some of the latest technology that we're bringing that is purposely designed for older, uh, older um, fields and, and older regions in the world. So some of the great technologies around now are not for just uh, for new greenfield opportunities in West Africa or the Gulf of Mexico, but are, are more, more applicable in the North Sea actually now and, and than anywhere else. How important is that investment in technology going forward, David? Because it is, I mean, the, the industry moves so quickly all the time and, and the new technology could help actually get even more barrels of oil out of places where they thought it wasn't possible in the past. Oh, it's, it's, it's essential. It's not just a nice to have, it's absolutely essential. And the industry does move very quickly, but the, the adoption of new technology doesn't move so quickly. Um, particularly when you get into environments such as subsea, which, you know, there's a lot of technology where everyone's queuing up to be second to use it. But to be, to be the early adopter is, is for us as a, as a technology company, one of the biggest challenges we have is to get that initial sponsor to get the technology um, proven. Um, and time and time again, we run up against that, that issue. So with this compa the compelling nature of, of, of the industry now, we're seeing that the, the risk um, of taking new technologies outweighed by the, 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 the prize that's there. And the prize is substantial. We know that there are hundreds of marginal fields in the North Sea. Um, I know that there's some tremendous brains working on how we can best unlock the potential of those. And we're seeing that the, the groundswell's there. We're seeing that the, the industry is addressing these issues. And I think my message isn't one that we, we, we need to change. We can see the change coming. Mine is just to, to add a voice to the many that are saying that we just need to keep going and accelerate the direction the industry is taking where possible. And just finally, David, how important is an event like Offshore Europe to, to getting the message across to, to businesses and, and that collaboration going forward uh, to, to, to the future of the industry? I think Offshore Europe is, is fantastic for us to be proud as an industry and see what has been achieved over the years. I think it's time for everyone to, to have a good look around and see that there are many people with great capabilities in an industry that in the northeast of Scotland has is, is, is been a leader. It continues to be a leader and will continue to be a leader. Um, you know, offshore Europe, is, is, I think, is just a, a manifestation of, of, of something that's there day in, day out. So, very important. Excellent. David, thank you very much for your time. Thank great. You. Thank you.